Hey, this is Justin, you're watching ringsound.com. I'm gonna show you how to use the pencil tool and the scrubber tool in Pro Tools 8. Now the pencil tool is great because you can draw in tempo changes, you can draw in automation, and if you have a click or pop, you can draw that out with your pencil and take it right out and it'll sound real smooth. And then also the scrubber tool will let you find those clicks and pops that you're gonna draw out with that pencil. Check it out. So the pencil tool is the pencil, and you have a bunch of different options to choose what kind of lines you want to draw. I'm going to just use freehand. So the pencil tool, you can draw in MIDI notes. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you could draw them in really easily. You can draw in some tempo changes. Very easy. And you could choose whatever line you want. And you could use the pencil tool to draw in some automation. So let's say I'm gonna have some volume automation. Go to my area and draw it in. And then it gave me all these little crazy triangles over there. Now, another thing that's really helpful with the, with the pencil tool is if you have a click or a pop or something in your audio, you can zoom in really close and you could physically draw right over it to get it out. Really cool, really cool. Now the other tool I'm gonna talk about is the scrubber tool. Now the scrubber tool lets you play your audio really slow, like little sections of it, whatever you wanna do. And so you can check if anything's coming in weird or clicks or pops. You could pick them out real easy. So all you got to do is choose the scrubber tool and then just click on the area that you want to listen to and just drag it across it. You can always get in touch with Justin at winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at winksound.com.